Hi and welcome back. Today I'm off to do a quick kitchen refresh for a customer. So I've done a whole time lapse of the entire job from start to end. A slightly bigger job than you would imagine because often on older kitchens the screw holes for the hinges don't necessarily match up to where the screw holes should be for newer kitchen cabinet doors. So there's probably going to be a little bit of tweaking to do and whatnot. And also a lot of the panels that I'm using are kind of non-standard panel sizes, which were obviously the standard way back then, but they're not the standard sizes now. So it just means I've had to make a couple of kind of custom panels and stuff to, to fit. I will be doing a costings breakdown of this job over on my Patreon at some point. So if you follow me on Patreon, keep an eye out on their link in the description below. Let's head over to the customer site and see what needs doing. Here we are on site and you can see this kitchen hasn't done bad. You know, it's probably a good 20 years older thereabouts. You can see like the corner fillet piece here is rotted and I'll be replacing that as part of this job. The unit fronts all need replaced. Um, a lot of them have turned yellow over the years and they're all slightly different colors and hanging off and stuff. So it'll be getting all new fronts, new pelmet and cornice and new plinths new doors, custom made panel for the extractor and a custom made panel under the oven as well. And it's just really gonna be giving this a bit of a tidy up and a fresh new look with a nice gloss white slab finish. Many, many doors to unbox and fit. So let's crack on and get this done. 